storytellers from the land of the South Saxons. Come gather round us as we bring to life the myths and legends of the ancient realm of Albion, the Isles of the Mighty. Draw near as our tale begins, a tale old when the Romans came to our land, a tale of cruel ambition and power of the sword, a tale of desperate defense and the power of magic, a tale that's echoed through the ages to this very day. This is the legend of the king's men. There was once a mighty warrior king, rich in ambition and hungry for power. He gathered together his toughest men and set out to conquer the neighboring lands. Soon they came to a small village, an unprotected hamlet, ripe for the taking. Driven by greed, the king sought to claim its spoils for his own. As the war band approached the village, yet fearsome battle cries grew ever louder, and their clashing swords rang out in the night.
victory for the king, for the village was under the protection of a powerful witch. Alone in the village, the cunning witch had hatched her plan. And when the king and his men entered, she made her bargain. <coughs> in return for your mercy, I can offer no gold, but spare my life, and your future shall be told. Thinking the witch useful to his quest, the king agreed to spare her life, and bid her speak her prophecy. I give unto you. Do as I say, and it will soon prove true. If King of England you wish to be crowned, then follow my lead to the highest ground. Heeding her words, the king and his war band marched to the top of the highest hill. Upon reaching the summit, the witch spoke the final part of her prophecy. If in seven long strides the land below you see, then King of England you shall be. His destiny in sight, the king took seven steps towards the brow of the hill. However, before his seventh step, the witch caused a great mound of earth to rise up in front of him, blocking his view of the lands below. Having thwarted the king, the witch triumphantly cried out, As the land below you cannot see, King of England, you shall not be! Realized he'd been tricked, 
The king commanded his men to strike the witch down. The king's men returned in dismay. Despairing at yet another setback, the less faithful knights whispered of rebellion and made their move to overthrow the king. The loyal knights jumped to the king's aid and fighting broke out amongst the war band. Watching on, the witch cast her final spell. Rise up, stick, and stand still, stone, for King of England there shall be none. O King and your men, great stones you shall be, and I myself an elder tree.
Let ye be turned to stone. And so the witch was left all alone amongst the stones. She danced slowly around the whispering knights. She danced amongst the circle of the king's men. And she danced around the lonely stone that once was a king. And to this day, the king stands there all alone. And his men stand in their circle, and the whispering, treacherous knights huddle together. And somewhere hidden amongst the nearby thickets is the witch, resting in the guise of an elder tree. Yet this is not the end of the tale. For on certain moonlit nights, the king and his men are loosed from their spell and go down to drink at a nearby stream. For this is the tale of the roll right stones in Oxfordshire. Thank you very much, William Fargo. Thank you for watching the tale of the King's Men.